What is going on all my tacticians and welcome back to yet another video only this time I'm going to be talking about the seeds you know the psychic seed the grassy seed the uh what what was the other one called let me misty seed there we go misty seed and I believe the other one and the last one was electric seed so all these seeds offer two benefits depending on which one you put or put yeah pick on your Pokemon and strap onto them one is going to increase your special defense, and the other will increase your physical defense. That's all they're going to do. The two of them will co two of them will increase the special defense, the other one will increase the physical defense. That doesn't seem to sound like much. But, in the right hands, in the right Pokemon, those two little benefits, those two little moves, those, se those seeds can actually give them some great benefits and give them some offensive power, you know, depending on how they're used. So the first one we're going to be looking at, you know, we're going to be looking at Drifblim. It's going to be the Psychic Seed Unburdened strategy. So, we've all seen Drifblim. We've all seen the Unburdened. We've all seen it go for stockpiles and, you know, baton passes, etc. But, you know what? You know what? Actually, I'm going to remove Shadow Ball here and I'm going to give it, like, Mist... Uh, not Mist Ball. We're going to go for Calm Mind. There we go. Go for Calm Mind setups. And we're going to be doing some crazy shenanigans with the Drifblim. So... We've all seen the Calm Mind Drift Blim set up with the stockpiles, etc. They go for the Baton Pass and let the next Pokemon do all the do all the crazy sweeping for it. But Drift Blim can do a whole lot of damage if it gets that Psychic Seed and the Calm Mind and stockpile set up. It can go for some serious damage with the Psychic with its Psychic Attack and just in and just in benefit, just making good use of the Psychic Seed. So it's going to increase the f the sp the special defense stat. I believe it. Yeah, it is. Psychic turn Psychic Seed will increase special defense by one state. This means you can go for a bold nature Drifblim, maxing out your physical defenses. You know you don't have to spend as much into EVs into your into your special attack because your Calm Mind will set up for you. That that's all you need. That's all you need. Give give yourself some Calm Minds and it'll do all the work for you. And you can give yourself just some, just a little bit of special defense EVs just to, you know, make you a little bit tankier once that Psychic Seed activates and gives you some great benefits. And the hidden, and the HP EVs just there for some extra benefits. Now, another candidate for another, you know, another seed is going to be Tyranitar. And the reason why we're going to be going for the Electric Seed is because this allows Tyranitar to gain, you know, a pseudo assault vest and a you know half assault vest for the physical defense stat when it comes to the electric seed electric seed will increase the physical defense stat once in the electric terrain and on top of tyranitar sandstream which will give the added bonus of increasing your special defense stat while in the sandstorm by 50 percent this gives you some really powerful tanking capabilities this gives tyranitar really really good defensive buffs Without even having to set up a single one. So you've already got your assault vest, if you want to call it an assault vest, from the sandstream, and you have your defensive increase to the, thanks to the electric seed. Now, everyone could go for, you could just go standard life orb, etc., Tyranitar, or go for, I don't know, a focus edge if you want. But where's the fun of that? Let's make our Tyranitar even buffer. Let's make him even tougher to KO. Let's go for Dragon Dance setup because we know 100% we'll be able to take the hit. Unless it's a times 4 weakness, in which case we're pretty much dead either way. But, with the Dragon Dance setup, we can go for Earthquake Power, we can go for Outrage Attacks, and we can go for Rock Slide Shenanigans. We can just do a whole lot of shenanigans with the Tyranitar that has a plus 1 special defense, or not plus 1 special defense, plus 1 physical defense increase, and, you know, a pseudo assault vest from the... I believe I said it said it like four times now from the sandstorm with the with the special defense increases from the sandstorm benefit. All right, moving on down to our third seed. We're going to be looking at the psychic seed once again. I think I screwed this up, and this was actually meant to be the misty seed. So I'm going to change that to the misty seed. So once again, misty seed going to be increasing our special defense stat. Why would Magnezone need a special defense increase? Well, if you compare its special defense stat to its physical defense stat, you'll see why. Its physical defense stat is pretty impressive, but its special defense stat is rather lacking. So we can actually give our Magnezone that little misty seed there, give him Analenic, 
and it increases defense's bonus benefits even more and gonna deal some sweeping damage with our special attack increasing or not special attack increases but basically our analytic ability thunderbolt with for and flash can for stab we can protect ourselves and substitute and give everyone hell so pardon my French right there I'm just I'm just trying to explain how we can make use of the misty seeds and the and the other seeds because all we ever see is like psychic seed that's all we ever see people come on make use of the other seeds we can make use of them now moving on to our fourth candidate Aurora's here now why did I give grassy seed to Aurora's well for the simple benefit of you know, just to give Aurora some extra defensive benefits. Aurora and other Pokemon that really lack when it comes to their physical defenses can actually gain just a little bit of de of defensive bonuses from the grassy seeds. Now, I went for a modest natured uh, Aurora here with the refrigerate ability, hyper voice, calm mind, earth power, and protect. But you can easily swap these EVs around. You know, you can go full on, increase your f physical defenses, leaving your special defense to increase from the calm mind. And you can give the and you can give the uh, grassy seed to your f physical defense stat and make it even tougher to KO. These Aurora's here, but either way it works. So those are just a few of the benefits and the few of the ways we can make use of the seeds here. Now I'm gonna move on to one, two, three. Gonna move on to another candidate here. I'm gonna explain how else we can make use of this, and it's not really gonna be pretty, but you know. I'm a crazy guy and I like to do crazy things. So one, two, three, boop. So here I am once again, boop. So what am I doing here looking at an Alolan Persian with the Psychic Seed? Well, the reason why I'm looking at a Alolan Persian here is because of the Fur Coat ability. That's right, I'm looking at the Fur Coat ability. Because Fur Coat is going to double our defensive bonus because it's going to reduce all physical attacks done to the Pokemon that has the ability by 50%. Why not just make it even harder to KO by strapping on a Psychic Seed under the Alolan Persian here and making it increase its special defense stat by one stage. So it's going to make it even harder to KO if we really, really want to go down that route. But that's not all I'm going to do. That's right. I'm bringing up my favorite poodle, the Furfro. The Generation 6 poodle. I believe it's Generation 6. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, Nebby. Okay, no, I'm not wrong. I believe I'm not wrong. In any case, Furfro. Yeah, once again, the Fur Coat ability. Fur Coat is going to increase our physical defense stat by about 50%. By 50 so it's going to make it even harder to KO the Furfro by giving it that Misty Seed. Now, why am I picking the Misty Seed? And why am I picking Psychic Seed in particular for these two Pokemon? Well, Misty Seed is for Furfro here because we're going for an adamant natured, well not adamant, but jolly natured physical attacking Furfro. So we want to we want to make it harder to KO this Furfro by increasing its special defense stat by one stage. And we're going for the Misty Seed because we're going to be activating this in Misty Terrain to protect it from burns, etc. We don't want our Furfro losing any of its physical attacking power. And I'm going to set up a Cotton Guard, perhaps maybe set up a Work Up here, maybe Work Up a 2. Increase our attacking capabilities by one stage. And going to go for some Return and Sucker Punch damage. As for the reason why Alolan Persian, well, we don't want to activate the Misty, we don't want a Misty Terrain because that means we're going to be facing down Tapu Fini. No, we don't want to deal with Tapu Fini, we don't want to deal with any of the Fairy types because they'll just rip apart our Alolan Persian. Instead, we're going to go for Psychic Terrain here. So we're going to go for Psychic Terrain because most of the most Psychic Pokemon don't necessarily run uh, fairy type moves. There are a few out there that do run fairy type moves. For example, I believe there's Gardevoir, there's also Tapu Lele, but we're just going to assume that Tapu Lele is on our side, so we has our way to deal with them. So Purgeon here is going to go for our Timid Nature. We're going to go for, you know, Dark Pulse, Fake Out, Power Gem, etc. We're going to go for Protect. We're going to deal some massive damage. This Persian is all or nothing. It's going to go in deal all the damage it can. It's not going to be able to survive long. It's not going to stay in forever, but it is going to deal its damage and it's going to take the names and take the game. That's how I'm going to play it that way. And I'm not really scripting this at all. I have no idea what I'm saying here, why I'm saying everything, but in any case, 
I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I hope you guys make use of the, of the seeds here. I hope you guys make, ter make advantage of those terrain seeds. They're very impressive if you give them the chance. They have some unique benefits, and they offer potential for Pokemon that can make use of them. And just give them other options besides, you know, standard life orbs and salt baths. Give them something else to work with. That, you know, s you know, the uniqueness is the spice of life, as they say. I believe that's how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.